Good morning, everybody. For those who don't know me, I am Jason, the meandering Newfoundlander. Cheers. Got my coffee on the go. At home this time, though. Anyway, I just wanted to drop in for a moment to kind of clarify a few things that have been going on in my uh, personal life that's impacting my video content creation. As some of you may or may not know, I'm a Canadian veteran and I'm dealing with PTSD from non-combat, but I still have PTSD from my service. And I'm also dealing with anxiety, I'm dealing with depression, and a few other things, a bit of ADHD, uh, anger issues, you name it, and it's probably in there somewhere, a bit of OCD as well. And of course, with all of that comes various types of treatment. And one of the things I've been trying to do, and which I kind of found, was that getting out and making these videos is very therapeutic for me. For example, I come up with an idea, all right, I want to go to Flat Rock today. So I think about Flat Rock, think about the areas I want to go, and I just pack up and go and start filming and having a coffee while I'm at it. And that whole process of just getting there, setting up, making my coffee, enjoying the scenery, and sharing it with you is, uh, is beneficial to me. Now lately, I've been dealing with some medication changes, and if you've went through medication changes, especially if you've been on antidepressants, you know that it's quite, it's quite horrible, actually. Uh, about two weeks ago, I started, and every symptom or every side effect that you can get from uh, coming off a medication, I'm getting them. I think there's even an acronym for it. I, I forget what the acronym is for, but uh, no, it's gone. I can't remember what it is. If I think about it, I'll finish. That's right. Finish. Finish is the acronym. Now, do I remember what the F stands for? I don't remember. But basically, some of the symptoms include those brain zaps you might have heard about. For example, when you close your eyes and you move your eyes around in your head, it's like you feel these weird sensations that just shoot off in your head, and often they kind of radiate throughout, throughout your body as well. Another symptom is insomnia. No matter how many of my Zopaclone I take and how much my Indica cannabis oil I take, it's still it's not helping. It's, uh, it makes for a restless night. Indigestion issues, nausea issues like that. Um, one of the ones that scared me the most actually was I woke up one morning feeling extremely dizzy and disoriented. And, uh, and that was fine, but a few times after that I wake up and I go into the washroom or to get ready for my morning and I'll probably end up stumbling across the bedroom. Or I never fell yet, but uh, the walls are after catching me a few times going to the washroom. So that symptom scared me a bit, but then when I realized that it's an actual symptom of medication discontinuation disorder or, or something like that it's called, I just call them brain zaps. It's easier. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm getting at here other than I hope that this passes so I can get out and get motivated and inspired again because I need it. And for me, this is not about viewership, even though I'm speaking to the viewers that I do have right now. Or am I talking to myself? It's probably more like talking to myself, because talking to myself to this camera and sharing it helps me get things off my chest. It's like a little relief valve. You hit the button and psh, it all just, just comes off and just goes away and dissipates in the thin air and you feel a little bit better afterwards. So that's kind of where I'm going with these videos such as this.
Tonight as I wind down, I will again attempt to look inward, seeking my creative spark. That satisfaction from a good video. I need to learn that it's okay to have a writer's block. It's okay to blame yourself. But at the end of the day, this was all because of a medication change.